Ms. Papp is here. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to SNN. Today is Friday, March 31st, 2017. It is a sky day, which means sky periods 1, 3, and 5. Our phone of the day, who is this woman? We talked about her briefly yesterday. And her face is on this coin. Her full name, please. Call 78293 with your answer ready. Go. Go. Drum roll, please. The 2017 March Madness champ. Let's play the video and let Miss Pappas tell everyone. Great to see you. Uh, it's the end of the day on Country versus Country Club Day, so I got my hat on here. So I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, March Madness and where things kind of ended up. So our two um, big contenders were, of course, um, down to Maze Runner and Wonder for um, the championship. So here's the big news. Um, Maze Runner took it. I mean, Maze Runner just absolutely ran circles around uh, Wonder here, which is unfortunate. Um, they're both amazing books, you know that, but you know, Maze Runner is without a doubt, and this is now the second year in a row uh, that it has won. And it didn't win just by a little bit, but uh, instead uh, the point spread was something like this, 2351. Um, to 576. So, um, you know, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I was really hoping uh, for Wonder, uh, mostly because this was our first win um, in 2013 when March Madness uh, brackets and Book Madness and all this craziness started. Um, but uh, they're both amazing books, so win-win all around, but Maze Runner is the one that takes it on the bracket. Um, and uh, Wild Robot, Wild Robot is not giving up. I just want you to know. Wild Robot is going to be back next year, bigger and better than ever, I'm sure, because, of course, the sequel is due out in October. So who knows how that'll work out, but I still hold out a lot of hope for this one for next year, for sure. In the meantime, make sure that you have plenty to read for spring break so that you don't get bored or anything. Um, and there's lots of books, of course, in the library. So come on in and check some stuff out, partner, and you have yourself a great spring break. Bye. Thanks, Ms. Pappas. The total number of points for the bracket with right guesses would be 256. Each column is worth 32. So add it up and see how you did. Turn in your bracket if you're closer to that number. You can also turn it in if you chose Maze Runner as the champ, but the bracket sort of fell apart. Hand them to Ms. Pappas and she'll let you know. Also, be sure you have plenty to read over books for spring break. <laughs> There's a new sheriff in town and her name is Sheriff Pappas. Pictured here with 8th grader Jackson. She's trying to rustle up his overdue books. They're just kidding around yes yesterday in a, taken pic a picture taken by Richard Braskett. Both enjoying the moment in their country western attire. Plus, here are some other pictures. Jackson doesn't have any overdues. Be like Jackson. Luau, luau day. day. A luau is a traditional Hawaiian party or feast that is usually accompanied, accompanied by entertainment. It may feature foods such as poi, kalua pig, poke, poke, and lomi salmon, plus entertainment featuring traditional Hawaiian music and hula dancing. The topic of our foodie news has a lifespan of over 100 years. It has no head, no biting mouth parts, and no arms or legs. They feed year-round. Though less in winter because they need less energy. All shelled fish should be alive when you eat them raw. If they're dead or the shell is closed, toss it back. There are over 5,000 different species of them worldwide. The flavor and their color is influenced by the sand or sediment and the waters that live and that the they and and the waters that they live in. <laughs> it's oysters, oysters on, on the, the half shell bay. That that's almost as bad as turkey neck soup. People that ju that don't share their seafood are just shellfish. That's so funny. I think I pulled a muscle. Moving on. Yesterday may have been pencil day, but big news today comes from the crayon department. It's also National Crayon Day. 
And one of Crayon Signature Crayon Colors is headed for retirement. For the first time in its 100 year plus year history, Crayola is discounting a color from its iconic 24 count box. The, amount, the announcement was, was made today in Times Square starting at 8.15 a.m. Eastern Time. Well, which color was it? Dandelion yellow, not to be mixed up with yellow green or green yellow. It was retired and they're adding a new hue of blue to the box. Crayola's fans will be invited to help name it. Also, don't forget the bus safety poster contest. That's something you could work on over break. Chalk, pen, crayons are all options for your artwork due on May 19th. Not much left on the radar. ASB Spirit Assembly on Friday, right before the buses leave for break. Then next week... The long weekend of spring break. Thanks, ASB, for this awesome week of dressing up. Which day did you like most? Um, you know, I really like Luau Day because I get to wear my lays, you know. Which day did you like? I like Blazy Day so I can be very cozy. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> It's the last day of March, and we need to sing happy birthday to both February and March. Here's your word cloud, and these are really fancy. We found a new online app called Taggle. If you had a birthday in February or March, please stand up. This wordle is posted on the SN wall in the hall. With the names of all the students who have birthdays this month. Ready? Happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. May all your dreams come true. true. Happy, happy birthday from us and then to you. Happy, happy birthday, we think you're really cool. Happy, happy birthday, we're glad you're here at school. Hey, happy, happy birthday. birthday. You can sit down now. Our last segment for Women's History Month. And also the answer to our phone in, in was... Susan Brownell Anthony. That's what this B in Susan B. Anthony stands for. She was an American social reformer and women's rights activists. Who played a leading role in the women's suffrage movement. She was unrelenting in her efforts. Giving speeches around the country to convince others to support a woman's right to vote. She even took matters into her own hands in 1872 when obviously women were not allowed to vote. And she voted illegally in the presidential election. Anthony was arrested for the crime. And she unsuccessfully fought the charges. She was fined a hundred dollars. Which she never paid. She was unstoppable. And we're glad for it, too. Anthony never gave up on her fight for women's suffrage. In 1905, she met with the President Theodore Roosevelt in Washington, D.C. To lobby for an amendment to give women the right to vote. It would be until 14 years after Anthony's death. In 1920. That the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, giving all adult women to the right to pass. The, to, right to to r the right to vote was passed. For all that hard work and dedication, the U.S. Treasury Department put Anthony's por portrait on dollar coins in 1979, making her the first woman to be so honored. Go, Go Susan, Susan B. B. Good job to Eager from Weekly's class. And the SpongeBob drawing of the week, and it's going to go to... Wells class. <laughs> nice. <laughs> A treat and fake cash will be delivered to you all after the show. And that is the news for Skyers Middle School. Where you can believe in yourself. Be you. Today's thought, men, their rights, and nothing more. Women, their rights, and nothing less. Have a fantastic Friday, Skyhawks. Have a great vacay. Or staycay. Or time off. Whatever. Wherever. Enjoy next week. See you right back here on April 10th. Aloha. Aloha. Remember to follow the code, the Sky Code. Be safe. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be kind. This has been Lindsay. And Tate. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, Ready begin. begin.